So, trying to remember where I got to in the last video. So I got the car running, um, put the radiator back in, as you can see up there. That'll need bleeding. Now I've probably mentioned this a few times, but before you start, you know, once you've got your engine running, great. But once, before you start, you know, putting stuff back together underneath the car, like the drive shaft, make sure you've got the correct gear uh, linkage. Uh, it needs to be from a six cylinder car, because this is the four cylinder. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's too far backwards. Now, two things you can do about this is the right way by a six cylinder, or if you're feeling brave, you can modify this, you know, chop it and weld it. Um, I think I'm going to try and chop it and weld it because I can't seem to find a six cylinder linkage for a reasonable price anywhere near. Um, but regardless of which way you do it, just make sure you do the swap once it's, you know, when you've got the engine and gearbox out of the car. Because it's quite tricky with all these uh, clips, or C clips, whatever you call them, when it's underneath the car, you haven't got much room. So I suppose I'm going to do it the hard way. Okay, so I lied. I bought one off a 320. Um, it actually came up for sale really soon after I posted my video or filmed a video. Um, this definitely looks shorter, so it's got all the clips as well, which I lost on mine. So let's see if it fits. So all that's left of the linkage is your bushing. Hope you didn't lose this one. Um, and you can see it's got these grooves either side that slap back up underneath the cart. Um, so much light we've got under here now because there's no hole in the transmission. But yeah, you can see it there. Let's slide it through, clip it in. And there it is back in. You've just got to force it up until it bites on those um, grooves. Um, feels nice and solid now. I will say it does look a bit further back than it was, but swings and roundabouts. Uh, gotta check if that linkage is on properly. It might not be. Oh yeah, don't forget the clips. But it's good to go nearly. So skipping ahead a little, but oh, that's so much better. Move this string. Looks like factory almost. So uh, now to the underside. So you've got the kind of gear stick, gear linkage back on. Um, obviously next logical step is to put the prop shaft or drive shaft, whatever you want to call it, back on so you can get drive to the rear wheels. But it's a good time now just to check, you know, how the linkage fit feels. So nice and tight. Um, also good to check your clutch. Like I said, you might not need to bleed the slave. Um, I'm just going to see what happens without it. It felt quite tight earlier. Tight's, tight's not the right word. It felt quite solid. Yeah, it's not too spongy. Nice and slot. So now onto the prop shaft. But I really want to check if we've got drive to the rear wheels first before, you know, I start putting stuff back properly back together. So with the Edge of running, it's a good time to see if you know if your gearbox actually is spinning. And my gearbox was spinning fine, so that's covered. So the plan is to move on to the prop shaft, drive shaft, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to throw that back on, pull up to the gearbox in the diff, get the rear wheels in the air, and then if I can get the wheels to spin, you know, uh, we'll be one step closer. And before putting the actual drive shaft back in, if you've disconnected it like I had, make sure when you align it that these two white dots are aligned. Um, I think this helps with balancing and stuff like that, so. But it's ready to go in. So that's the drive shaft back in. Um, remember all you like the middle bearing, whatever it's called, this thing. I think it stops it from popping off in case it falls off. And I think it's called the Guibo or the flex disc. You've got three bolts and nuts, the 18 millimeters. And right at the back on the diff, you've got four 16 
Um, it's easier when you're putting this back on to start at the diff side because there's a bit more kind of travel so get it on the diff and then you just kind of have to pipe it on here. Um, that's that. Right, so here's for the exciting kind of nervous part. We know the engine runs. Um, before committing, you know, to put the exhaust back on and stuff. Let's see if the rear wheels actually spin. I'm a bit nervous here because, you know, you've got to align clutches and things like that. I've got welded well, defs. Anything can go wrong yet. Well, the car's still going through the motions of the immobiliser, so that's promising. Okay, the immobiliser was loose, or the wire was loose. So let's start her up. Fuck, that was loud. Into gear. Happy days. All right, so I can't believe this actually worked. Um, I know it's worked, but like I thought there'd be some issues with the clutch or flywheel or something. So put the exhaust back on, loose ends, bleed anything you need to bleed, and that's it. I will show the car moving because obviously that's the whole point, but pretty happy. So with the exhaust all bolted up, time to put it on the ground and uh, take it for a spin um, make sure the bolts are tight you know gearbox mounts engine mounts anything you know that the cross members gearbox um, tidy up the engine bay and stuff obviously you're gonna have to put bu bumpers on but that really is the conversion done um, like I said I did it by myself didn't have a clue it's probably taking me about three or four weekends uh, but hopefully this video should be quicker and if you have help as well it makes a massive difference um, but let's get to the fun part right so the car's back on the ground um, it's ready to drive now there are a few things to tidy up but I think we have enough to get going right so there are a million things that can go wrong here and I'm just going to drive it around the field see how it feels so no power steering obviously because we forgot to put that back in and we're off oh my god no bad noises yet forgot how funny the world of this is Still got the full cylinder clock, so you can see that the revs are way out. But um, oh, there's the donor car that's getting sold. All right, we're gonna mash it a bit here, okay? Fuck me, this feels quicker than it did. Wow. I can't believe. I'm sorry, it's so noisy, but I can't believe how loud this is. 
and just back sorry quicker because I'm used to being a four cylinder okay it's still pretty bumpy we'll spin around and go back on the uh, nice tarmac but I sort of wish this thing had MOT oh sorry it does have a car has MOT doesn't have insurance so need to top up the power steering fluid swap the clocks so this really concludes the swap I suppose everything's working as it should sorry about filming this with one hand so yeah it's good time to shake down the car you're bound to find faults like or but as plug and play conversions go this has been so fun um so looking back on this sorry if you can't hear me um i'd say get the transmission kind of sorted first so i mean by mean i mean get the gear linkage from a six cylinder put it when you take the transmission you know out of the m50 or m52 put the shorter uh, gear linkage on it and then when you actually mount the car in the engine so when you mount the engine in the car uh, obviously you get the gearbox in and connect up the gearbox mounts before the engine mounts because then you know when the gearbox is perfectly aligned in the middle but man this is fun uh, right enough of me talking let's go for another blast It's just a shroud. Um, I'll stick that in the car. That's another to-do job. But the car's running well. So there you have it. I think it's got a bit of an exhaust leak because um, I didn't put any new gaskets on. Can we see that still? Yeah. Bit of an exhaust leak. But other than that car feels so much quicker as well because it's stripped like I'm used to this being in a you know full 325 with no um no weight reduction manual gearbox makes the car feel alive as well we'll have to get it out on the road uh, and show you how it feels but god this is good and there you go and 50 conversion with a bit of exhaust leak done